Oh Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Okay, so Pete's Dragon it has a lot of beautiful songs and a candle on the water. Are you guys revisiting that in any ways? No. <laughs> I don't think we could do it any better, honestly. I mean, it's it's this is not this is not a musical, although Wes and I tried really hard to work in some music here and there. There's a few humming moments, but um but no, this is this is uh this is, I mean, this is a partially animated film, of course, because of the dragon, but um, but it's very different from the original in that way. The original dragon was this really adorable, like, flat 2D uh, creature. Can you describe for us what the dragon looks like to you? And is he still green? Well, huge, yes, green, furry, friendly. Furry, that's new. Yeah, it's like a puppy dog, just, be just really sweet. Like, I just want a pet dragon so badly. There are also a lot of odd elements that don't really hold up to time in Pete's Dragon. Like the kid comes from a family that kind of abused him and they have a whole song about it. Yes. How are you guys going to tackle that? Is it gone? Is the kid not from that family anymore? It's, it's really different. I mean, this story, it, it's, it still has the essence of what was so great about the original Pete's Dragon. You know, this is the story of a, an, an orphaned boy whose best friend is what everyone thinks is an imaginary character and it's actually a real dragon. And, and during the course of his journey, he finds his family. Um, so that's still intact, but everything else is very different. Everything else. And how hard, it's one of those things you have a kid told you, I have an imaginary dragon. How hard does the town actually fight him on this? Because they go pretty far in the original <laughs> film. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, yeah, definitely people don't believe him at first. And, and I'm, I'm actually one of those characters. My character is, uh, is a, a woman who's very pragmatic, very, very realist, um, and, and, during the story, she comes to realize that you know maybe magic is possible. Um, so, so yeah, there's some conflict around that for sure. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. I really thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.